On September 15th, we are doing a giveaway to celebrate 50,000 subscribers here on the channel. In collaboration with Saptek and then partnering up with Polestar as Polestar's recommended home charger, we are giving away two Saptek Go home chargers. To enter, simply subscribe to this channel and comment down below, I want a Saptek Go home charger. Thanks Saptek for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome to the brand new Volvo XC90. I'm currently here at World of Volvo in Gothenburg at the reveal of this brand new XC90. Well, new and brand new. This is actually a revised version of the current generation Volvo XC90 built on the SPA platform. So it has a brand new face and you can see that it has a brand new face. There is a brand new grille now with this new diagonal design, these chrome strips. On the right side you can see that they go from the right and down and on the left side they go from the left and down. It is a very striking and new design that we haven't seen in any Volvos. And then we also have this brand new Thor's Hammer LED headlight design, which is different to what we've seen on the new Volvo EX30 and EX90. So it is very interesting. And also a brand new front bumper, giving it a brand new look in the front, modernizing this for a new decade of XC90s. We also have a brand new hood and we also have brand new front fenders. If we move around to the side here, you can see that this is new, this is new, and this is new. And we also have new wheel designs. If we walk around from the A pillar and back, this is actually the exact same as the old XC90. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Do you like the new front end? Do you wish there were more updates? If we move around to the rear end, the rear end is pretty much the same as before, though there are new tail light designs that are darkened out. But from this angle, it's pretty hard to see that this is a new car. So I'm a little bit disappointed because I think the new front end really brings this XC90 into this new decade, making it more modern. But this part may be aging a design that had aged very well, but is 10 years old at this point in time. There are gonna be three drivetrains available. There are gonna be two mild hybrids, which I'm gonna guess are being called the B5 and the B6. And then we have a T8 plug-in hybrid, which carries over the same 14.9 kilowatt hour that's usable capacity as the old car. And that gives it a WLTP rated range of 70 kilometers from an electric motor and also a turbo petrol engine. Total system output is 456 horsepower. So these are the changes to the exterior, new colors, and I like it. I mean, I like it. I really like the front end, but let's hop in and see where the biggest differences are. So the interior of this new XC90, I think is very exciting. This is a new fabric called herringbone a herringbone pattern it is really, really nice. It is in a navy blue color. There's also an interior, we can check that out afterwards, which is in Nordico, which is that same type of recycled simulated leather, but not really simulated leather, we find in the EX90. So here, a very familiar place for me. I've had two Volvo XC90s on this generation. I had a 2016 D4 inscription back in 2016, and then I had a 2018 T8 inscription back in 2018. So I have a lot of experience with Volvo XC90s, and there's a lot new here. So the overall design is pretty much the same, the same steering wheel, the same door design, though on top of the door, we have this new faux leather. We also have this new interior trim here, or this door insert and also a new speaker grill here but from this part and down i think the doors are the same the center console is also new you have a new wireless phone charger here you also have more storage more cup holders this is redesigned and also a new center console design and this is a lot more room than we've gotten before if you come a little bit close you can see this is actually usable this space here this used to be a lot shallower and a lot smaller and i like the th the, the fact that they have felt here on the inside so if you have sunglasses and stuff there and it moves around it's not going to rattle we have the Eau de force crystal but the biggest change we're gonna to get to this. This is the biggest change, but here, also this new fabric here, this new wood trim, this new, you know, metal trim here. I'm really liking it. And also this uh, tweeter 
is also new. But the biggest difference is this brand new infotainment system screen with the new infotainment we first saw in the Volvo EX30, which is an Android-based Android -based infotainment system. So this screen here, they call it new, but it is 11.2 inches. And if you do a little bit of digging, that is the same size as the infotainment system screen in the Polestar 2. So this is a carryover from the Polestar 2 or from you know their sister company, Polestar. Both Volvo and Polestar are owned by Geely, the parent group of Volvo, and this is a carryover design. And I really like that because I think the infotainment system in the Polestar 2 has a big enough screen. So this has the new infotainment system we first saw in the EX30, and it is really much better than what we see in, in, in other Volvos like the EX. Uh, the EC30, not EC40 and EX40. But what's really cool that they announced now is that all Volvos that have a the Android-based infotainment system are going to get this new interface. So they're gonna get an update to bring, bring them up to date. So all models back to like 2021 or 2022 during 2025 are going to get the new update. So I think with the exterior update and with the interior update, this is a really nice car that has been refreshed and brought now into this new decade of the 2020s. Let me know guys what you think down below. So this is the Nordico trim, a trim we first saw with the Volvo EX90. And this is Dawn, the color. I think it's Dawn or is it the beige color? I'm not sure, it's the beige color at least. And I'm really interested to feel how this feels because it does feel a little bit like a leather, but at the same time, it feels like a wetsuit material or a fabric. It's not as soft or as supple as a leather, but it is a very interesting material. And you can also see this car having a different color. You can see that fabric here on the center console is different and also this wood trim. I think this interior looks really nice. This is a very nice and light colored interior. And even though I like that fabric in that other spec, I would personally go for this. I really like this new diamond stitching pattern Volvo have on their seats. It just makes it look more premium, the whole interior. So guys, there we have it. That is the new Volvo XC90 with all of its updates. I think this is a really nice update, though I wish they did more to the exterior, especially the side and the rear end. I do think the new front is very attractive and I really like the updates to the exterior, especially the new infotainment system screen with, or the new infotainment with a bigger infotainment system screen. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think. Do you like this new update of the XC90? or not. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.